beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Hello, good evening, I'm back again for yet another one of me doing a really cringy intro. <laughs> I don't know how to start these things or, or end them at all. <laughs> Been doing this long enough, I should know. But uh, yes, hello, we are back again to play some more Alan Wake 2. And whilst everybody else is doing all the DLC or has already done it, um, I'm still on the base game. <laughs> I pick my timing, don't I? And I take far too long to get through these as well because I'm not streaming like eight hours a day. But uh, yes, I'm still having fun. And um, last week, where did we get to? Oh, we, uh, we got through the musical section. Um, which then led us into the hotel, the Ocean View Hotel, where there was the murder. Or the, um, oh, was it the, um, oh, the Amateur Dramatics Group, or, well, they may not have been amateur, but the Dramatics Group doing a play that was supposedly cursed, and somebody got murdered. Now, it was intimated with that that the character they had playing what is essentially the devil um, was a character that they believed may have actually been the devil. And that indicator was it was Scratch. And he killed the leading lady. And apparently, or there was an indication, that he somehow knew this woman, the, act the actor, playing the leading lady. Um, which kind of intimated that the leading lady was Alice, Alan's wife, and the actor was in fact Scratch. How that links in with everything, I'm not sure. Because the whole thing, to be honest, felt a bit like filler. So I ended the uh, stream on, what was it, Sunday, I think it was? Where we had literally just finished everything in the hotel and now we're heading over to the apartment block to try and find Alice again, which I think will be the end of that chapter. So. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you guys can carry on. I think I literally just stepped out of the hotel, or at least what's left of the hotel, and back out into the city. I want to check on. Uh, yeah, let's just use one of these. Oh. Parliament Tower was here, again. Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. There it is up there. Hang on a minute. Yeah. Okay. Alan Saga's stories can be played in whatever order you choose, or just the bits and pieces of them. Hey, that's fine. Let's do a quick, quick save. I don't remember seeing this last time I came through this area. I must have missed that entirely. Especially considering it's directly opposite the train station we went to. Right. So I need to head up there. So what's going to get in my way? Big important question. Parliament Tower. That just says number six. I don't know if that's the sixth Parliament Tower or if it's just the address. I don't know American addresses very well. One thing I do know is the UK is the only country in the world that uses letters in its postcodes. Every other country uses numbers. Because us British people, we like to be weird. And awkward. Right, so what here is going to be different? Because last time we came here we found a video that Alice recorded where she talked about... Oh, is she here? 
Yeah, that happened last time. She uh, managed to get a picture of Scratch. And she was talking about Alan returning. Oh, this is on this. I don't want to go in there yet. And this is a completely different layout. This is not the apartment that we saw last time we came up here. Okay. Right, let's go right the way down to the early ones because they're, they're, they're in reverse order. Okay, right. Greetings from Hollywood. So Barry Wheeler to Alice. Hey Alice. I'm more of a fish out of water in Hollywood than I ever was in the Pacific Northwest wilderness. Uh, these yuppies with their glow-in-the-dark teeth couldn't be more fake if they had six fingers. And everything's so fucking great all the time, even when it's in fact the, the opposite. More than once I've thrown up in my mouth during meetings with these movie exec jerks. Yeah, that sounds like what Hollywood is probably like. But I've got to be here to look after Al's legacy. Everyone wants to gobble up the film rights to the Casey books, and they have moronic ideas of what to do with them. It's my duty to herd this horde of tanned zombies into the, into the general direction of something resembling good taste. I'm painfully aware of how deeply Al would have hated adaptations if they didn't do justice to his vision, like pretty much any writer. Um, if he was a master of hating things deeply, or he was a master of hating things deeply, uh, for good reasons. I mean, that's why we love him so much, right? Anyway, got to hop on another video call. Uh, now to talk about casting. Okay. Joined a cult. Hi, Alice. You're going to think I've been replaced by an evil double, but I've joined a cult and I love it. That's a phrasing that should immediately call alarm bells. Uh joking about it being a cult kind of blessed wellness retreat um working with Al the Andersons was uh tough sometimes but these movie biz types are insane my stress levels were through the roof but then I was tipped off about the retreat best decision I ever made I've never felt this good and well healthy the guy who runs this place Chester is a goddamn miracle worker not a wacko in any way he's a wacko um I know I'm full of shit, but I've lost a ton of weight. You wouldn't recognise me. Chester says I'm lucky to have ended up here, that something bad would have happened to me if I'd stayed in New York. Hmm. If he'd stayed in New York, he probably would have been found by, um, oh, uh, by, oh, Scratch. Hello, good evening, welcome to the stream. But, uh... Um, would have, something bad would have happened to me if I stayed in New York. I believe him. I wasn't feeling great after everything that happened, especially after those FBC creepos wanted to chat with me, enough to turn anyone into a conspiracy nut. I hope you are good over there. Come visit sometime. West Coast is not as bad as I made it sound in my earlier emails. Your pal Barry. Hang on, how did he sign off the last one? Your pal Barry, okay. So that's at least consistent there. Checking in. So I want the dates for these. So that one is um, July 21, that's May 22, and June 22. So that's just over a month later. Hey, let's checking in because I haven't heard from you. Everything good back there. Okay, so he goes over a year without a reply, and then he checks up after a month. Hmm. Everything good back there. Um, I've been trapped in non-stop meetings with no breaks uh, open kimono I've considered peeing in a mug and lunches be damned how these people ever get a movie made when all they do is sit in meetings is beyond me okay handle it okay I'll handle it hey Alice sharks circling they now want to turn what happened to Al into a movie and or TV show and or get this a fucking video game. I told them to fuck off. <laughs> oh, the irony of what we're playing right now. Um, also, in case you heard about this from someone else, a true crime writer named Tammy Brooker is working on a book about Al. I hunted down a publisher and told them we'll sue. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Hmm... 
to be honest, if I was in that position, I'd want to know the content of the book before it comes out. Hmm. How is everything? Hey, Alice, everything good with you back home? And, uh, oh yeah, looking at the date. So, June. So that one's March 23, so again, nearly a year later. And then the last one is May 23, so just over a month later. Um, everything good with you back home, just checking in. Tried to call but couldn't reach you. You're probably just deep in your creative process. I know how you artists get when you're in the middle of your projects. Everything else disappears. If you call back and can't reach me, I'm doing whatever it is an as an executive producer is supposed to do. Still a mystery to me. Oh, and if you want me to help with anything business related to your exhibition, just say the word. You're pal Barry. So by the looks of it, she hasn't replied to any of those. Now this, this feels almost like the layout of the. Um, I needed to get inside the manuscript. This is a similar layout to the apartment they had in the first game, but not quite. Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room. We're gonna just keep the torch off. Okay. Right, those are the pictures of um Booker. Um no Breaker was the sheriff, because Sarah Breaker was the sheriff in the first game, and now we've got Tim Breaker who's gone missing. <laughs> he keeps appearing in uh, Alan's part of the game. Uh there may have been a Booker character. Um Tammy Book. The Tammy Booker was the one we just read about. That could have just been a new name that they created for this one, but it doesn't ring a bell for me. Yeah, so we've got... Yeah. Three pictures of... Um... <laughs> ah, don't worry. Sometimes things ring a bell and it's not quite the thing you were thinking. Yeah, so those are the pictures that Alice has managed to make. <laughs> Hello there, Mirg, or Merg, however you would like to uh, pronounce that. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Thank you for dropping by. I thought there was going to be something... Uh... Oh, Mirg? Thank you. Yes. Yes, have been loving these games recently. Never actually played the original until uh, earlier this year, and then jumped straight into this one. So just trying to figure out what to do here, while well, making my way through anyway. For months, after Ellen died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion, the shock, the, the guilt, the fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Loyalty to Alan, I think. Yeah. Yeah, now that you mention it, I do remember the um in the opener there were the um old two people the Booker couple who we see at the Odia Diner and Saga interviews them. And uh, yeah, the woman says that she's a uh, a crime writer doing research into Alan Wake. So that all links in. Thank you for reminding me of that. Okay. Now I'm wondering, because I've got the pen there, are those drawings or are they photographs? Because she was trying to photograph um, Alan, as she thought it was, but was really scratch. What are we going to find? work had consumed the apartment her whole life. It's like a gallery. A makeshift gallery. Ooh. Need to show you the truth. Is that... 
on all screens, I think that says. If I can get the camera closer. Yeah, on all screens. I can just about read that myself. The darker the better. Hmm. Okay, so that... I think I can see the layout for that. Oh, there's another TV. Another motion-activated TV, probably. And another one there. That one's not on. So this must be the next one. Oh, ah, didn't recognize the T-shirt. One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image of the horror of caring. Mm. And that's when I got myself out of bed and I picked up my camera. Hmm. And that one's now on. I thought for a moment that picture at the back there moved as I stepped out. I don't know if it is. I always feel like there's a perspective trick on there. There might be some graphical effect they're doing on there to make it look like it's moving when it's not. If there is, it's very subtle. I'm only just noticing it. Okay. shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. Mm. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, we don't have a map of this area. Probably don't need one. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be. There's a world hidden behind ours. A dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. She's found the dark place. Faces in the shadows. Of the dark is, is he going to appear behind her? Be that, that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography can freeze reality in a snapshot, put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. The Dark Place, The Art of Alice Wake. Oh. Part 4, Realisation, Purpose and Strength. Hang on. Where are the other... Part 3, The Search, Clarity and Purpose. So what are the other ones? There's little things beside each one that has, like, parts, part names. Uh, part 1... The depths, love and weakness, uh, trigger when viewer close, intimate. Okay. Right, so the second one was in the side room over here. This one. The comeback, weakness is clarity. Okay. Three, the search. Clarity is purpose. 
and purpose is strength. Okay. Where does this take us? There's a complete manuscript, isn't there? The full manuscript of a novel. Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Mm. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. the F key prompt is showing there. Yeah. Scratch stopped me before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. <laughs> the memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Okay. Scratch was there at Parliament Tower undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. Okay, so... Oh, it is letting me. It was blocking me off from uh, interacting with the uh, typewriter just a moment. Yeah, he is an absolute plane. Yes, we've got all of those. And over here... <laughs> Pose of the Fool, the happy song. I just sit down and listen to some of those at some point. Initiation draft two. I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me ahead of scratch. Changing a plot element in a scene without being there was impossible. Okay. Okay, goal at the moment. Right. Sit down and write. Easier said than done, and I can speak from experience. Zane had said we worked on Return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote Return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. Oh. Was that really Zane? It may not have been Zane that we saw. Okay. Masks. Initiation 7. Okay. Talk to Mr. Door. Right, let's do a, carry on doing some more with uh, Alan, because I did do quite a few straight... Uh, Screams as just Saga. So let's do a bit more here. He's a mess. Yeah, 
There he is. <laughs> Sit in his chair. Yes. I have a feeling this is going to be lengthy, but important. I don't have time for this, so let's get over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Mm. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. <laughs> yeah. All these rules, endless convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky. You know, there are so many people helping you, armies of people, myself, your wife. Alice, I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is, because of you. Mm -hmm. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would mm. do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wake. Hmm. Whatever you say. Hmm. Right. Or Zane, the masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. Right, I'm blocked off from getting to that door over there again. But I've got to go this way. Yeah, I don't know whether to interpret Mr. Door as being someone who's working against us or or with us right okay so easiest option would be to go out that way I think so is this door open no the door wouldn't open I've got to go the long way right anything in here Wake. <laughs> Ooh. He just appeared just as a lot well. Wake. Oh, there are There are shades here. The fact that this place is flooded is not a good sign. set the cranny in the snow. When the panic is biggest, the help is also near. 
Oh, yeah, this is another one who knows a lot more than he's indicating. That's two characters I want to know more about. I have a feeling this game is going to show us a lot more about Mr. Door, whether he continues on into the... Oh, the DLC. Actually, he will carry on to the DLC. <laughs> but whether Mr. Door appears in uh, oh, Control 2 or not, that'd be an interesting question. Plus, there's two DLCs for this game as well. There's the one that's just come out, the Night Springs one, which is three chapters that I'll be playing after I've done the main game. But then there's the other DLC that I believe isn't due out until later this year, I believe. Let's see what more Artie knows. Or didn't seem happy to see me this time. Hearing the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your film, Tom, like you have put me. Say an olisk. What yeah. films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom the Poet, my favorite, and Uerden Uer is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinema soon? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I love the facial animation on him. It's so over the top, but still it works perfectly for him. I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... Uh, the... se valokuva oli? The light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. Uh, they are waiting in the shoebox in the basement. What you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. Right, the shoebox was where we found the lamp. I think through here is... Ah, yes. Uh... question is, what stuff are we going to see down here? I don't remember this from last time. This feels different. Oh! Now I remember. It's going the wrong way. Uh, there's a door here. Yes. Right, so... Leave. There we go. I would find Alice's photos in a shoebox. Ooh. Ah, yes, no, I just remembered I've got to put the light back from this side. And. Oh. 
Okay. How do we get around the other side, is it? At bales of hay. In a network studio basement. Well, I can understand it for a props room. Actually, this is kind of a props room. Right. But this room needs its light put back. were Alice's photos. I recognized the style. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. They were important even if I didn't know what to do with them yet. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm uh, a little stuck back here. You say, please let me sleep. I can hear another one. Okay, why does he keep doing that? He keeps reappearing. Well, I'm not going to waste any more ammo on him. That's... A bit too much. Right, so let's get the... Uh... Back the studio. Want to interact with the TV? Let's put the light in. <laughs> Literally, just an end of part. Seemed a bit abrupt there. I'm lost. I'm lost in the dark, drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. No way out. There's no way out. She's deeper, deeper, deeper. This is hell. I'm in hell. I died. Oh, she was dead. Let me die. I just want to sleep. Please. Let me sleep. I'm so tired. I just want to go home. I've written so much. I write. I write. There's nothing left. How many loops? Okay, hats off to the actor.
<laughs> Artie and the Janices, I love that. <laughs> right. So, time to head back out. Is the phone going to be ringing again? To get to Parliament Tower, I needed to find a murder site. Zane would know where to find one. Look for Zane at the hotel. Okay, the phone's not ringing. There are a lot of those things around. Ooh. A director wants to control every aspect of the world in their films. Is a cult leader any different? Huh? Was Zane just another alias for Scratch? There was a rumor that Wake and Zane had been working on something together. I was going to get the truth out of Zane with whatever means necessary. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Right, so I think first stop is going to have to be the front door of the hotel. There's no way in heck I'm going to be able to deal with all those shades, so let's try to be stealthy. There's another... Or had they, had I chosen to pursue the cult? Or had they chosen me for some unknowable purpose? To be a demon. To sort the clues based on my interpretation. To change that which I observed. It was all a play. Shadows on the wall of the cave. An echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? In a performance set up for someone else. I love how over the top and poetic he is. Right. Is this going to let me straight in, or is it going to loop? No, we're straight in again. Zane's room, 665, was upstairs. The elevator would take me there. But before that... It's a quick save. Just for safety. I've got a feeling Alan's getting more and more dishevelled as we uh, progress through. He's going to end up looking like Scratch. Ah, found an episode of Night Springs. That's one of the DLCs. Right, so... Oh yeah, I'm on, on the floor there's no map for. Okay. And 
literally there's the <laughs> there's the room what's down here if anything ah oh, yeah um balcony over the stairs through here this probably won't open oh Ooh. I'm going in the complete wrong direction at the moment. Ah, this is the rooftop entry. E. Okay. Right, that explains that. Doesn't quite explain why I can still access it though. Right, let's go see Zane for the second time. And see if he's quite as uh, <laughs> loony as he was last time. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. <laughs> oh, God. Alan, you look a mess. Oh dear. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head. Scratch wrote return, not me. You're a fucking liar. You've given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch. He promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. A visionary. Ooh, that's not good. I mean, it was art. But then, when he finished, he took a return and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. You can still catch him before he gets out, before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema, where my film Nightless Night is playing. Um... Ooh. I told you not to try anything! Oh, well, that's quite the uh, quite the picture. Just hang on, let's zooming in. Oh mercy! Thousands have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me. When you're lost, you're lost in your own company. And cut. Now that is drama. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? I had a million questions about Zane, but I had more pressing concerns. Yes. I had to find the movie theater poet cinema. The next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. Hmm. Yes. This is certainly getting convoluted. Let's 
quick save here. I think I'm going to switch. I don't have much pistol ammo either. Wait a minute. That chair moved. That may have just been a physics glitch, but that TV was on a moment ago. Hmm. I feel like I missed something. But, uh. Yeah, I know there are some differences on a second playthrough. I don't think if I'm going to do a second playthrough, I'm not going to stream it. Because it'll take just as long to get through. I could see the searchlight beams of the movie theater on the far side of the plaza. Hmm. Okay, I can't avoid those shadows with shades there. Right. Okay. So that's where I've just been. So, Poet Cinema over that way. That's a bit of a distance. There's going to be a map for that as well. So, time to make our way across. Can I make it across without? <laughs> Any uncomfortable encounters? A group of them there. Yeah, this place is... Uh, Starting to get quite populated now. And it wasn't raining the last couple of times either. Yeah, unfortunately the rain is really highlighting the um oh the the AI upscaling. This is looking very, very pixelated to me. Oh, there's a bunch of them there. Can I get around this way? No, nope, I don't like the look of that either. Ooh. Ha! Shotgun rounds. That'll be good. Right. Yeah, it's not going to let me through there. Even though it looks like there's a way through. That is annoying. Mm. Do I have... Right, I have one flare. I think it's going to be a case of use it down here. God, Alan's got to be soaked through by now.
No steering, no words, no control. That's, uh... Excuse me. A damn fine cup of coffee. Ah, thank you for the follow, and I'm glad that worked. Sometimes they don't. Numbers are slowly growing. Very slowly. Right, I'm going to take a risk here. That didn't do enough. <laughs> right, okay. That one in the middle there looks like it's... Hmm. Ooh! I think that was a bit of a waste there, but it seems... Oh! Didn't mean to do that. Something I noticed, it seemed that when I put the light on them, they did eventually fade. We have to see whether that's actually the case. Because if I focus the light on them, it does get rid of them. But it almost felt like... Hmm. Yeah, it almost felt like the ones that weren't real would actually disappear if I just kept my light on them, rather than focusing it. Right, so where are we now? All the way down here, and there's an echo. Right. Yeah, I believe you can run through some of them, but I'd rather not do it. Oh. Okay. Is that another one? <laughs> ah, okay. Right, there's the, uh... There's the echo. Where's the other side to it? Okay, there's only a visible that some so. Right. Ah, there it is. So just line this up. Something kept me going. A broken man. No hope, no prospects, no love. Too stubborn to die. Yeah, like that sounds like Max. The misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. Well, James was so good at doing that voice. There's going to be a tall order to try and replace him. Right, what's the betting these front doors won't open? The theater appeared to be closed. Maybe the ticket could still get me in. <laughs> oh 
Yo Tsum Yo. That was the one that Artie mentioned. That's not ominous. Got another echo. The cinema lobby was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. Oh, I don't like it when they do that. Where's the other part? It's around here? No. But then Scratch gets his own way. <laughs> Did I stop writing at some point? Yep. I can't stop. There's too much at stake. I think the answer is going to be to actually stop writing. That's up there. Yeah, I've got a feeling that the ultimate conclusion of this is going to be that in order to stop everything, in order to save everyone, Alan has to stop writing. No. Ah, there we go. I felt like I'd been on this case looking for the cult of the word for a lifetime or more. The only case I'd ever been on. They would surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night, leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere. Arriving at the cinema, I felt them. Monumental, terrifying revelation trembling before me. Ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole. This place had significance to the cult. There was something to use there. Mm. Okay. The main event was the murder. I had to find my way to it. Right. The first step toward the murder site. I was making progress. Uh, looks like this is a murder site already. Bloodstain and smear heading in a direction. Question is, was this the beginning or the end of that smear? Uh, going to the shape of those footprints. Someone had barricaded themselves in the room. Hmm. Oh, mountains of popcorn. <laughs> Right, I wonder. Uh, okay. I can't change it back. And there's no light for me to uh, exchange. So. The only direction for me to go is back up here. Oh. Two lots of arrows? That's interesting. That's because there's two words to find. And the other one over this way. In here. Oh. <laughs> Silhouette by the door. 
What's through here? I was missing something. Yeah. That way. Yeah, this is taunting me. Are there actually two words or just one? Uh, I haven't got a map. Right, let's try back down here again see if there's anything I've missed. Ooh, yes. Bathroom? Hmm. Yep, this is... Uh, not ominous in the slightest, is it? Ah. Right. Some supplies. That's good. Cult of the tree. So one question I'd have is... Are the cult of the tree and the cult of the word related somehow? Right, so I can't get through there at the moment. Hmm. Okay. Completely missed those two drills. Right. Nothing else there. Okay. Ah, I can turn it back. Right. And I can get in here. Right then. So... Let's check through here without it changing first, just in case. Yes. Doesn't feel like any movie theater, theater I've been in. Ah, we have a map. So, we do have an, another echo that's further in. I have a feeling what we need to do there's the echo let's have a look at what stuff we can find in here first do you a lot of do you a lot of good to talk buddy was an initiation ceremony, or so we made our new members believe. Two of New York's finest, they had performed endless favors to earn their place among us. We had something special waiting for them, and something very special for you, Alex Casey. That's Ilma. Who's your leader? Alan Wake? Hmm? Scratch? Zane? Give me a name! <laughs> You will meet him soon enough. Yeah, that's Elmo. There was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre, so I'd use it. Yeah, and what he said about the two, um, our two new ones joining, was that the two officers that uh, Saga had to deal with? Oh, I've forgotten their names. Mulligan and something else. Not Donovan, it was another name. Right. Thornton, thank you. Yeah, it could be those two. Like things crossing over between the two stories. O okay, yep. Yeah, um, that's what we want to see. <laughs> right, at least this is letting me out. Oh, very Twin Peaks. 
But since things have a tendency to change everywhere, let's have a look through. This doesn't see. Hmm. Yes, that certainly makes sense. Right. It's definitely trying to guide me through there, but I want to go have a look up on the balcony first. Hmm. There. Yeah, that's going to be a key I find later. Right. Let's make our way. Up here. Theatre, new scene. Ah, oh, just an average theatre then. Cleaners have been recently through. Right. We have a flickering light that's probably going to change this. Now I'm weak. There is no Ooh, I was not expecting that. Right, so at the moment, we've got the theatre hall. Hmm. See what I can find here before I change the Yeah, before I change the scene, I want to see what I can find. There's an echo to find up here. I'd done some digging. To film freaks, he was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema. A rising star coming to America from Finland. But he Finland only again. one film. Tom the Poet. Before he went missing. Mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie. Played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film. An early work made in Finland, Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. Mm -hmm. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail, just like Wake's books were. Hmm. Okay. Right. So. Let's try the first one first. The one we found out in the lobby. Oh.
Right, is that just going to keep looping there? Waiting for a film that will never begin. Okay. Stop this story. There's something up on the uh, stage I need to interact with, I think. Maybe not. It does seem to make them disappear. Just holding the light on them makes them disappear. It could not be opened on the side. Oh, that's useful. The cops had gotten their 15 minutes of fame with the cult, and it had been a scream. Hmm. They were the murder victims. I had to find a way into the projection booth somehow. Right. I have a feeling I know. I know a way in. Change it back to this. of clowns and funny masks and hoods pretending to be a secret society well, maybe it is you who's playing a role mr casey a role carefully laid out for you a puppet blindly performing the original steps for the glory of the cult huh what the fuck have you been smoking nightless night a clip of the lost film survived you will see mr casey in the nightless night you will finally see nightless night was zane's film it played a role in this story oh that doesn't bode well hmm actually i've just seen the time so I'm actually going to hold here for the moment. Uh, just take a short break. You know, I like to split my um, old streams in half. So to uh, partly so I have two little videos, two short videos I can upload to YouTube. Also gives me a chance to uh, stand up, get a move around because I do sit down for my day job and sitting down for the evening. It's probably not the best thing for my health. Plus the wife knows at me for sitting down for too long. 
<laughs> so yeah i will be back in about 10 minutes there's loads of links below for you to have a look at there's my youtube twitter discord everything and my book on amazon if that might be of interest to you but as i say um i should be back by about half past uh whichever hour that would be for what part of the world you're viewing from so um yes uh, if you are liking what i'm uh, playing through here or how, how i'm playing through um don't go anywhere i should be back soon